click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about that is how to calculate the oxidation number of the central metal atom of a complex and now in this topic we are going to talk about the effective atomic number so how does that previous calculation will help out in calculating the ean this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic so now let's get started So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the effective atomic number. So what is effective atomic number? This is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So now let us understand that one. That is EAN. That is effective atomic number is the total number of electrons around the central metal ion present in a complex. So we can make a formula for this so as to calculate the EAN that is effective atomic number. So therefore it has been found that is the EAN has a formula that is EAN is equals to Z minus X plus Y. So this is the formula. So what does Z means? Z means the atomic number of the central metal atom. Talking about X, in this case the X is nothing but the oxidation number of the central metal atom whenever it loses electron. So why is the number of electrons shared by the ligands to the central metal atom? So this is the formula and this is how basically we can calculate the EAN. But there are also certain rules of EAN and what is the rule of EAN? This is what we have. A metal ion continues to accept electron pairs from the ligands till the total number of electrons present around the metal ion in the complex becomes equal to the atomic number of the next rare gas atom. So for that, let me explain to you with the help of an example that is how to calculate EN and what is the rule of EN. So friends, here we have a complex ion and in this case it is nothing but a anionic complex. So for that we have to calculate the oxidation number first and we understand that is the central metal atom is Fe. So Fe has an atomic number that is Z. It is found to be 26. So we have got the value of Z. So in this case we have to calculate the value of X as well as Y and based on that we could Get a particular number and that is nothing but effective atomic number so let us understand the oxidation number of this one so in this case suppose if we talk about the oxidation number so therefore we would consider the oxidation number of fe as x because we don't know exactly because fe is nothing but a transition metal and that's the reason it has a variable oxidation state so talking about the other ligands that are been surrounding the central metal atom it is that is cyanide so therefore six moles of cyanide groups that are surrounding the central metal atom and the overall charge it is nothing but minus four Cyanide, which is nothing but a negative ligand, it will acquire a charge of minus 1. So therefore, we could get the oxidation number of the ion. In this case, it has been found to be plus 2. So in this case, the oxidation number of iron in this complex, it has been found to be plus 2. So therefore, we could say that is the value of X is also been found to be 2. So the only thing that has been left out is we have to calculate the Y. So what is the value of y? y is nothing but the number of electrons donated by the ligand to the central metal atom. So in this case we can find that is there is only one type of ligand and that is nothing but the cyanide ligands that is six cyanide ligands are there. So that's the reason suppose if we talk about y and each cyanide obviously it will share an electron pair with the central metal atom. So that's the reason there are six cyanides sharing two electrons. So that's the reason that the y has a value of 12. So here we have got the value of x, we have got the value of y and we have already knew the value of z. So now let us calculate EAN. So the EAN for the complex that is what we have is z minus x plus y. So the value of z it was found to be 26. For x it was found to be 2 and for y we have got 12. So therefore it is nothing but 24 plus 12 which is found to be 36. So therefore EAN is the number that is what we have got as 36. But if you talk about the number 36, so 36 is nothing but the atomic number of krypton which is in fact a noble element. So in this case the EN rule is also satisfied as well as we also discussed about that is how to calculate the EN of a particular metal in a complex. And that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.